Today is an exciting day for Splatoon fans because Splatoon 2 review embargoes have been lifted and needless to say it's been a pretty good day for Splatoon 2. In fact Splatoon 2 as of the time of the making and recording of this video it has an 84 overall Metacritic score based off 44 reviews which is three points higher than the original Splatoon which had an 81 based on 88 critic reviews for Wii U. So assuming that this holds up and based on the early reviews it's hard to imagine it not holding up in some fashion Splatoon 2 is going to end up being a better overall rated game than Splatoon. And I think this is something that we need to take into consideration for several reasons because there is still that overarching concern that Splatoon 2 is essentially Splatoon with a fresh coat of paint. Yes, all puns intended. So the question I have is, based on the reviews, that mostly seems to actually be the case. Single player is based heavily on the way single player was done in the original Splatoon, albeit with bigger hub worlds and bigger levels, uh, but the general design feel and the amount of time it takes to beat the mode is about the same. Uh, it is kind of cool how there are like level specific items, so like you have to use a splat charger as an example on a level uh, the first time through and then if you go play that level again and you choose like a different item it changes up the level so that you can beat that level with that that weapon but uh the, there's these little fine-tuned things all over splatoon 2 based on the reviews i've read now you know full disclosure i don't have splatoon 2 i did not get a review copy i currently do not even have an active contact at nintendo all of my contacts i had back in my zelda former days have kind of thrown me to the curb um, and that's kind of the way it goes because now I work at Nintendo Prime. This is my baby. This is what I do every day. This is what I'm trying to make a job out of because I'm extremely passionate and I just need to work my way back up from the ground floor and we'll get there folks. We'll get there. But what I want to bring to the forefront of the discussion today is when you go and you read these reviews, and I'll put a link down to Open Critic and Metacritic down in the description so you guys can go check out a bunch of tons and tons of reviews from various people, and there's obviously lots of reviews right here on YouTube. I want to say that I am okay if this game ends up just being Splatoon 1, but better. And let me explain why. Because this is a point of controversy with this game that a lot of detractors keep bringing up that why would I buy a game I've already played back in 2013 and maybe you won't <laughs> uh, for those detractors don't buy it it's okay uh, based on the 3,000 plus people that I talked about yesterday that have been waiting in line in Japan based on the high pre-sale numbers based on the hype that's surrounding this game and now based on the actual review scores it appears plenty of people are perfectly happy with Splatoon 2 being what it is and what it is, is a highly advanced, better version of Splatoon. Period. Uh, the story's slightly more interesting just because it involves Callie and Marie. Uh, the, you know, the, the, the game takes place two years after the events in the original Splatoon. Uh, you know, they only seem to have added one new weapon class at this point, and that's with the dualies. Otherwise, all the weapons are the same. Uh, but they changed up all the specials. Obviously, they changed up all the gear. They've added some of the same bonuses you can get and some new bonuses. They made it quicker to get in and out of games, especially when they're changing maps. They don't kick you all the way back out to the square. They just kick you back out to uh, where you select, you know, what type of match you would like to be participate in. Uh, everything they have made about, done with this game has streamlined the experience from Splatoon 1. It's like they took all the lessons they learned about Splatoon and just fixed everything and released a new game that looks better, has, I mean, the paint looks fantastic. Uh, the maps are all new. You know, there's eight maps right now. Two of them are actually the, from the old game, but six of them are brand new. You know they're going to be adding new maps for free. By the time everything gets done, there could be 16, 20 maps with, you know, 18 of them being brand new maps. That's pretty amazing. Uh, there could be new weapons being added. New weapon classes could come, on, come into play, just like in the last platoon. Uh, everything seems to be going well for this. And from everyone's experience with the multiplayer, things seem better streamlined. Uh, some of the new additions, like with the food truck and, you know, being able to 
play at your own pace and you get that food item but you can use it for say 20 matches and it doesn't matter if it takes you a week to do those 20 matches or if it takes you an hour to do those 20 matches all they care about is that you complete the 20 matches for that food item use that's fantastic that's a lot better than some other games where you get these temporary boosts that give you like extra xp but it's a time limit so like you get five minutes you get 10 you get an hour no this is just per match which is i think the way most games should do it it should be based on a per match basis because sometimes uh we'll sit down and think we have an hour to play a game and we really don't you know we have 10 minutes we have 15 my kid wakes up and i gotta go deal with my kid and then you know i had a live stream when i was streaming the Splatfest the other night you know i streamed an hour and a half in and all of a sudden my kids were waking up and i had to go you know help put them in bed help get them settled down make sure that they weren't hungry and that meant that i couldn't play and imagine if i had a, a five hour item at that point well that sucks because i just wasted my item use on that so i like this approach um everything they're doing with this game is just making the original splatoon experience that much better which is why you're seeing the higher review scores because the game is improving on a lot of the issues people had with the original splatoon obviously not everything i mean some people don't still don't like you know that you are locked the two maps for two hours and blah 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 but you know it's really interesting stuff and the new mode they added you know where you're going off and you're fighting off the little guys and collecting golden eggs and you can actually end up doing that mode completely single player uh if they can't find anyone to team you with uh, or you can end up you know in a group of four it's all fun and everything about this game screams quality doesn't mean things are perfect obviously an 84 metacritic score is not perfect I mean, even Breath of the Wild that was up there for a while with like a 97 for a little bit, like that's, you know, that doesn't mean Breath of the Wild is perfect. There are ways, and I've talked about it in the past, of how Breath of the Wild could have been even better. And that's the way it is with Splatoon 2. It's not perfect, but it could be better. But it's actually really, really damn good. And that's fine because a vast majority, and I mean this, a vast majority of the Nintendo Switch audience will have never played the original Splatoon. Think about that for a moment. Nintendo could have just ported over the original Splatoon and called it a day, like they did with Mario Kart 8 Deluxe. Add a few new content, reactivate Splatfest for six months, and bam, there is their Splatoon game on Switch. But they didn't. They went the extra mile, created a true sequel that actually has a storyline that connects to the first game and takes place within the same time period and has explanations for the new fashion styles and, you know, the different presenters and... It has all this lore and association with multiplayer built in that clearly feels like a step above what the prior game was doing. And that's that's what we want to see, right? Splatoon was an amazing game. Truly amazing. I mean, it deserved the 81 Metacritic it got because it was really, really good. Had some faults, especially at launch. But it, you know, it was a, a, a fundamentally sound game that presented a way more fun than it should have been concept. And created, you know, a culture around it, especially in Japan. And Splatoon 2 just perfected the formula. And I feel like that's important. It's actually something I wish Nintendo would do with Zelda games more often. I feel like too often Nintendo uh, likes to come up with an idea for a Zelda game and like this new, new unique concept. And then that's really it. It's basically the same Zelda game as before plus this new unique concept. Whereas they never really perfect the mechanisms and the setup that the whole series is built upon in the first place. And in Splatoon 2, it feels like they have perfected that setup. And that is what I wish Zelda would do. It's what I wish Mario would do. Yes, that means you occasionally get an iterative game, but let's look at Super Mario Galaxy 2 as an example. Most people that I know that have played the original Super Mario Galaxy and Super Mario Galaxy 2 agree that Super Mario Galaxy 2 is a better game because it fixes a lot of the issues people had with the original Mario Galaxy while presenting you know, its own unique twists and flavor. And I feel like Nintendo needs to do this more often with games where, yes, you do kind of have an iterative sequel, but that exists so it can perfect the formula to a point that it's ready for the next evolution. And I feel like Splatoon 3, whenever that comes out, that's when you're going to see the next evolution. 
And what I mean by that is where you're going to see them add, you know, multiple new game modes, not just one new game mode. Uh, where you'll see them add, you know, multiple new weapons, not just one new weapon. Where you see multiple new styles, not just a handful of new styles. Uh, you're, you're going to see a true next step. You know, maybe they even, you know, change up how paint even works. You know, maybe they have a mode that's done, not even paint. You're, you're using something else. Maybe you're planting flowers versus planting weed killer or something. I have no idea. Just spitballing here. I'm not Nintendo. I, I don't have to come up with these crazy ideas, but uh, I'm, I'm just saying that I really like what Nintendo has done with Splatoon 2 because so many people haven't played the original. There's a lot of people that are going to pick this up because some would argue that this is the biggest game released on the platform since Breath of the Wild. Yes, there was Minecraft. Yes, there was Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, and yes, we've had ARMS, and you know, there's been a handful of really good titles that have come out, but Splatoon 2 is the title that is going to drive sales in Japan. It's going to drive sales in North America. It's going to keep, make sure that the demand for the Switch keeps being to the point where Nintendo can't make enough of them, and I feel like, ultimately, it's going to be one of the best sellers on Switch this year. I am thrilled with the direction Nintendo took with this game, and I hope you are too. Uh, obviously it comes out this Friday. I would love to live stream it and play that Splatoon and play through that single player mode. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to have the funds to be able to get the game. That's just kind of the reality I'm in. You know, I'm a father. I have three kids. I got a family to support. So like I do this video game thing, but sometimes the video games have to take a back seat. Uh, thankfully Nintendo Prime doesn't take a back seat very often, but you know, I don't necessarily get to play as many games as I want. But that doesn't change the fact that I'm picking up Splatoon as soon as I possibly can. It's happening. Hopefully I'll have it within a week, maybe two, maybe three, maybe it takes four months. I don't know, but I'm going to get the game because I want it that badly. Splatoon 2 looks like a game that if you own a Nintendo Switch, you should at least give it a try. The caveat, of course, is if you didn't like or enjoy the original Splatoon, don't get Splatoon 2. It's not going to do anything to make you enjoy the game if you did not like it the first time around i mean obviously it has more content at launch which is a big bonus that splatoon really had an issue with but if you just didn't enjoy the gameplay of splatoon splatoon 2 is not going to change your mind uh just keep in mind there is not a single video game ever created including games like tetris that that are literally for everyone it just doesn't exist the ratings can be e for everyone that doesn't mean the game is actually built for everyone because we all have different flavors and different tastes that we enjoy in our games anyways i am nathaniel ruffle jance from nintendo prime if you like this video you know what to do if you dislike it hit that dislike button subscribe for more videos and if you already subscribe thank you so much because you guys are what make this channel possible and make me smile every day i love seeing that subscriber account go going up because it means i'm still creating content that is engaging people and them wanting to engage back with me and that's something i highly value to the core you can obviously follow me on twitter at nate jance or nintendo prime directly on twitter at ninty prime uh you can also follow nintendo prime on facebook facebook.com slash nintendo prime and as always, folks, I will catch you in the next one.